benediction be with you. In baptism, Larry died and rose with Christ. May he now share with him eternal glory. O God, who through the ending of present things open up the beginning of things to come, grant, we pray, that the soul of your servant Larry may be led by you to attain the inheritance of eternal redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality, chastise a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine, and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Shepherd, so nothing shall I want. 
I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by pathways of righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Though I should wander, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Your rod and your staff, my comfort and my hope. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into A reading from the, le from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do, we do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Only the Blessed Virgin Mary is extolled more highly by the Church than St. Joseph. Of course, the veneration of the Church on earth doesn't add to the life of the saint in heaven who's come to enjoy God's own presence. The Church knows that she cannot even name all of her saints. If she universally venerates some members of the church in heaven, it's for the purpose of strengthening the church on earth. What do we learn from St. Joseph? We know some of his deeds from sacred scripture. It records none of his words. Yet we extol him most highly because he was the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the foster father of our Lord Jesus. He was protector to them both. To know who Joseph of Nazareth was what sort of man he was, you only need to look at his son, Jesus. Larry was a leader of our community, certainly of St. Joseph Parish and school. Yet if you ask his family for thoughts, it's images of Larry the father and grandfather that come cascading. As Christie noted, more than I can possibly use. Larry setting aside farm work on a Sunday to take his family to the lake. Larry pulling his children and then his grandchildren through the snow atop a car hood. Larry, upon retiring, giving Jeff and Scott his old pliers and the leather pouches he carried them in for years. Larry, at school performances and sporting events, you could always hear his voice in the stands. 
Larry fixing farm equipment and broken toys. Larry setting up a cardboard box maze, Nerf gun fights, later with airsoft pellet guns, Halloween hail bale mazes, and haunted houses, visits from Santa Claus, and mannequin challenges on video, whatever that is. All of this lives on in Larry's children and his grandchildren. They are who they are, and that is considerable because of who Larry was. All of us continue to be blessed because of his Joseph-like fatherhood. But as Christians, we can and we must say more than this. If the life of a man or a woman is limited to time, then its influence does fade as the generations pass as surely as do memories and gravestones. Larry understood this. It's why he created a museum in the hayloft of his barn. He wanted to preserve his Klepper and Musenberg family history and the old way of doing things. Larry understood that time erases the things of earth. As Christians, we believe that our Lord Jesus joined our humanity, entered our history in order to carry both back to the God who created us. To be baptized into Christ is to be baptized into his life and death. It's also to sh share a claim in his resurrection destiny. I cannot take away the shock and the sorrow of losing a husband, father and grandfather. You will continue to suffer from this unexpected loss. You will see his pocket knife collection, his magnets on the door of the basement fridge, and you will struggle to believe it's true. Larry's spot at the kitchen table where he would sit with his farm magazines, hunting catalogs, newspapers, and mail will always seem empty. Most of all to you, Gene. I can tell you that Larry's life was not without purpose. It began and ended when God willed. Between those two days, whether it was at Great Wolf Lodge, Joe's Kansas City Barbecue, or the Dodge City Rodeo, Larry forged something in all of you and in heaven itself. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him.
for we shall see him as he is. The Beatitudes encapsulate the kingdom of God. What matters to eternity is so different than what counts in this world. Larry knew this. Larry lived this. Grant once wanted to chase down the end of the rainbow. So Grandpa and Jake and Grant loaded in the gator and gave it a try. What matters to eternity is so different than what counts in this world. May the good Lord purify and raise his servant to the glory and the communion of the saints. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For our brother Larry, who is washed in the waters of baptism, that he be granted the forgiveness of his sins and be welcomed into the company of the saints in the kingdom of our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Larry, who was nourished at the table of our Lord's body and blood, that he may now be a part of the joyful gathering around the heavenly banquet table. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the deceased members of Larry's family, that they may know eternal life in the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For family members and friends who love Larry, that they may experience God's presence and consolation as they continue their journey through life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gathered here today, that they may safely return to their homes and their loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ, and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us a spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and please in the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts.
Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant Larry may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for it is at your summons that we come to birth, by your will that we are governed, and at your command that we return on account of sin to that earth from which we came. And when you give the sign, we who have been redeemed by the death of your Son shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Larry, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever, amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Take away the sins of the world. Man, 
Jesus' name, the blood of the Lord of Jesus Christ, for eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, the earth has gave life to the world, give me by this your most holy God, and not from all the sins of the memory evil. Keep you always faithful to your commandments, O Lamb of God. God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Oh, 
Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your servant Larry, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Larry, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Larry again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Larry in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Larry in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. Say to the Lord, my 
Shut